tutorial on my YouTube channel. This one will be about keyboard binds and mouse settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the options first, and then I'm going to show some examples from the game. So first of all, first of all, we go through the mouse settings that we have. We have mouse sensitivity at 0 0.13 for both X and Y axis. Why? Because I'm an old timer when it comes to FPS games. So in games like Quake, Unreal, I always had the same sensitivity on up and down. Sorry, and up and down, left and right. So it was always very weird for me when, an example, in PUBG, in Fortnite, the sensitivity was different. So I changed this to have the same uh, sensitivity of both axes, and that is what works best for me. Uh, my mouse is at DPI. 400, I used a Logitech G903. Now, when it comes to ADS sensitivity, scope sensitivity, and so on, I left it at default and I feel fine with that, so I don't really need anything else. Now, when it comes to binds, I changed a lot. I changed a lot, so you guys might, you know, kind of pay attention to what I did, but at the same time, might not be the best solution for you and your own game. So, I moved with WASD as almost everyone, but at the same time, what you can do is you can try to move the WASAD to an example EDSF or RFDG and have access to different type of layout for your next buttons. It's basically almost the same, but there are small differences. For some people, this might be actually crucial to be, um, to, to feel comfortable with their own setup. For me, it's currently WSAD, but I'm thinking about changing to RDFG. So, sp jump on spacebar, left shift for running, that, that's normal. Crouch on C, it's by default, so I didn't change anything. The same goes for the mouse buttons, the left and right, mo right, mo uh, right one. And now, just those are the changes. So, I moved to reload and use, because they are using the two most common slots. They're, on default, reload is R and use this E. R and E are the closest to your WSAD, so you can easily press them. But in Fortnite, there are more important buttons to actually have, you know, uh, faster access to. So it's more, impo more important for you to have faster access to them. And buttons like reload and use, they're not that frequently used when you compare it to the other ones. So I moved them to P and O. P and O, as you can see, they are very far away from my WSAD, so I'm not doing this, or I'm not putting my le left foot on it and pressing it, you know, with my, with my foot. But what I did is I remapped uh, those buttons to my Logitech mouse, so I used them. This is my use button, basically here, on this side, and I used the reload on my scroll wheel by moving it a little bit to the left, like this. This is my reload. So those two are moved there. Harvesting tool, I moved to the um, to the button next to one here. Why? Because I felt like it's a waste of a weapon slot for one, which is easily accessible for you, right? And harvesting tool, this is still like easy to press and still is nearby you. So usually when you're fighting, you don't press harvesting tool anyway. So you don't need uh, in most situations. So you don't need super quick access to it. So I prefer all the weapon slots to be 1 to 5. And this is what I did. I moved from 2 to 6 to 1 to 5. Uh, now, buildings. This is where Fortnite comes in. And this is something that is so important for, for you, right? First of all, wall. Uh, only a few people in the world are using F1 to F4 when it comes to building. And most of people are rebinding re them to the mouse or um, to anything else. So I don't really like having frequently used binds on my mouse because I feel like they are messing up with my aim. So I moved all the buildings to my uh, keyboard next to WCD. Wall is very frequently used and I have access to it with my index finger on Q. Floor, I moved to R since I have now the reload slot empty. The same goes for stairs, it's one of the most commonly used build, so I have it on E. This is the quickest. This is the quickest. Like Q and E are the two most accessible buttons for you. And those are those should be the most important ones for you. So whatever you feel like the most important are for you, use 
E and Q for them. It might be also shotguns. I know people play an example shotgun on E and second close combat weapon on Q and they have builds on 3 and 1. That's also a good setup and I was thinking about it myself. Now roof is on X. This is also easily accessible by pressing just your uh, pointing finger a little bit down from the D or you can even use your um, your whatever you call this finger. Uh, but, but then you have to release the W and this is not good since you always want to be moving, right? So usually you do it by the pointing finger by pressing, um, by releasing the D and <laughs> I'm 12 by the way and pressing X. Uh, my pinky is always being used for shift since I don't use left control and I feel like maybe I should switch crouching to left control but I didn't do it yet. Maybe I should do that. Then my pinky kind of releases the tension from my from my index finger. Yeah, sorry, pointing finger. Since the pointing finger is a little bit, um, a little bit overburdened right now, since I also put the edit on uh, F, and the edit is somewhere here. Here we go. Building edit. The last one uh, we can actually see it. But my building edit is on F. So my pointing finger is a little bit overburdened and I think that might be a mistake because it presses the E, it presses the R for builds, then it presses the F for edits and it presses the C for crouch and X for pyramid. Seems like a lot of functions for just one finger and also the access to 3, 4, 5 is being done with this one finger. With this one finger. So this is like a lot of keyboard being put on one on one finger. I don't think that's wise. I think I should change something to make it more optimal. What I should do probably is move the crouch button to my left control so I don't have to press C anymore with my with my pointing finger and release some tension from it. This is also the reason like when I was thinking about those new binds, I had in mind pop shotting with shotgun. So when I was build like let's say I'm over someone, right? I shoot with a shotgun but to the bottom and then I build a floor underneath me so it catches me when I'm jumping down. So I can shoot, build, shoot, build, shoot, build and I'm always on top of the guy and I have like the advantage. For that, I needed quick access to my shotgun and to my floor. So I thought to myself, well, I should just move my close combat weapons to 3 and 4 and the floor on R and then I can easily switch between them. The problem was when I also when I had two close combat weapons on three and four, I was even overburdening my my finger even more since those are the most two commonly pressed weapon slots. So I moved back and have my close combat weapons on the three and one, so I can switch between them with the with the pointing finger and with the uh, index finger. This way, I have more freedom for uh, the pointing finger, which is already burdened a lot, and. And yeah, I think I think that's about it. So thank you very much for listening to me rambling about my keybinds. And we're going to see each other in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>